know where it was. All right. So, um, over in this example, basically, ladies and gentlemen, um, we can apply the box method, Mario. We could use foil. We could use the foil face. Um, just for this example, I'm just going to kind of go through foil, which again represents the first terms, your outer terms, your inner, and your last. Okay? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each of these terms, and then we're just going to combine, our, combine them. So the first term is 2 times 3, which hopefully you guys should uh, like. That's just going to be 6. Um, the outer terms is going to be 2 times the square root of 5. Now obviously this does not have a square root. There's no radical here, right? So I can't multiply the 2 inside the square root of 5. It's just going to be positive 2 square root of 5. Okay. We can only multiply, look at guys, we can only multiply them when they're both under the same root. So if you have a number that's not under a root, you're just going to multiply it in front. It's kind of like 2 times x is 2x, right? 2 times square root of 5 is just 2 square root of 5. And then we have the inner, which again is going to be the same process. And then the last is going to be square root, negative square root of 5 times square root of 5, which now I have the same radicant or the same um, roots, so I can multiply them. So that's going to be a negative square root of 25. So over here, you look at this, and we see now we're subtracting. So remember subtracting, they have to have the same root as well as the same radicand. So when you guys look at this, they both have the square root and 5. So this is going to be 6 minus um, the square root of 5. And then the square root of 25 is 5 times that negative 1. So it's going to be um, minus 5. Sorry. Now you can subtract 6 minus 5 is going to be 1. Well, I did 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And that's your final answer. I will uh, actually.